With Cyberpunk 2077 launching on December 10th, we want to continue to give you a closer look at the game running on console. In this video, we're showing you footage from the very beginning of the game, following the Nomad Life Path, which is one of three you'll be able to pick from. The gameplay will start with PlayStation 4 Pro, and then we'll also show you PlayStation 5 footage thanks to the console's backwards compatibility. Since going gold, the team at CD Projekt Red has continued to work on Cyberpunk, addressing bugs and glitches, and enhancing the gameplay and graphics, which will be distributed to all platforms as an update on launch day. And this is how we want you to experience the game. The gameplay you see today already includes a great number of those fixes, as we work towards bringing the best possible experience on December 10th. Finally, just remember that when Cyberpunk launches, it will be compatible with both current and next-gen consoles. So if you'll be picking it up on PlayStation 4, it will also work with PlayStation 5 and it's the same for Xbox. And a full next-gen upgrade is coming for free sometime next year. Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Guess I was wrong. Can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad why he's hugging the border. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? <clears throat> huh. I'm gonna bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. Did anyone ask your opinion? Okay, let's see what happens. It's like I was telling you. Not shabby at all. Questions how long it'll last you. Do you have the manifest from the transport? Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds? He... he did. I was just making sure. Listen, friend. We're both professionals, ain't we? Hey. You, uh, sure you've moved contraband before? Why, are you nervous? Me? Ha! <laughs> If you're armed, place your weapon here. Now please report to room number two. Room two. Please sit. Papers. Is this routine? It might be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. You don't believe in no fate. Every day digging the grave. Stepping up here with a stace, uh, city of dreams, city of gang. You don't believe in no fate. Can't stop digging nights. Uh, Stepping up here with a city like any other. It's bigger. Nah, I'm on it. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Michael Whelan. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Like your average bust. 
Those ain't your average badges. That's Max Tac. NCPD's apex predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gunk's out there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences! He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us. And he was right. <sighs> so what now? We've crossed the border. Now you pay me, and we go our separate ways. No you to sleep, begging to be, taking the room, fuck the majors, rock alone. Back on the chairs, me. That's it. Stop! Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on! Hands! Keep her steady! Got you, assholes! B! Aim for the driver! The gameplay footage starts with a questline called Automatic Love, where V is attempting to hunt down a missing person via any means necessary. Now, in the interest of time, and to avoid spoilers, we have edited this footage, but it does mean that you'll still have plenty to discover when you play it for yourself on December 10th. The gameplay will be switching between Xbox One X and Xbox Series X, and you can check in the corner to see which one you're looking at. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Kako Okada, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Don't even want to find you. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it.
What will you have? Anything. Whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much. Even for me. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know it. Clients allowed in here. Well, dear, close the door on the way out, would ya? As you can see, I'm very busy. Oh, boy. And you just the cutest thing. If you're looking for a release, I just might be your man. Kindly get the fuck out of my way. Yo, you hear what this bitch said to me? Best watch your tongue. I'd say it again, but what for? Your little skull sponge can't possibly get its gray cells around it. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a specimen as exquisite as you.
come from? How are we even talking? Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You weren't dreaming, B. Those were memories. You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. It's who? Me and who, Vic? Silverhand. Johnny Silverhand. Real talk of the town back in my day. He died, like, forever ago. You need to say there's an actual terrorist in my head. Right now. He burned down half the city just to prove he was right. And burned the other half just for fun. What do you want from me? Huh. Destroy Arasaka. I don't even know what that means. Do whatever it takes to stop him. Defeat him. Gut him. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. Hear me, asshole? A bullet to the fucking brain! Get out! Just get the fuck out! Tell me how to get rid of it. You don't have much time left. You're a dick, you know? And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. Engine's been hit! Get us out of here! I'm losing control! <laughs> At CD Projekt Red, we dedicate ourselves to telling immersive stories. Yet with every new project, we set out to make our games bigger, more complex, deeply engaging. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Cyberpunk 2077 marries exploration of a vast open world with kinetic combat, story-changing player choices, and robust character development, all to bring you into our vision of the dark future. You ever feel like the city doesn't give you a choice? You either burn alive in it, or you never existed at all. The year is 2077. An economic crisis culminating in nuclear conflict has left America in pieces. With most of the continent degenerating into lawless war zones, people from all over have converged on the already overcrowded Night City, one of the world's last great megalopolises. A hub amassing the best in resources and know-how, and home to manufacturers of cutting-edge technologies, Night City continues to offer the promise of a civilized future. What? No, no, this isn't happening. Oh, but it is. But in the city streets, a merciless struggle for power rages. Gangs, corporate agents, hustlers, religious cultists, politicians, and all manner of criminals strive to outplay one another. Ordinary people get caught in the crossfire. Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge, much more feasible here. In this world, consumed by never-ending conflict, sometimes only an outsider will get the job done. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. And that's you, an urban mercenary, a cyber-enhanced gun for hire. You seem to understand each other. Take this, too. As a mercenary, you swear no allegiance. You've chosen the outlaw life and trust that your abilities will carry you up Night City's ruthless underground social ladder. Heart of Night City. That's it right there. To thrive as a merc, you need the right combination of gear, skills, and reputation. Dex had a load to say about you. I hope he wasn't overselling. With the money you earn, you can turn yourself into a living weapon, buying guns and enhancements in the hundreds. As you roam the city streets, you gain the experience you need to upgrade abilities and acquire perks. Combine the right skills and gear to create a gunslinger with inhuman reflexes. A stealthy netrunner with command of all surrounding tech. Or practically anyone in between.
In Cyberpunk 2077, you steal a prototype biochip that can set you up for life. Being filthy rich. When its sealed container is ruptured, the only way to prevent the biochip from failing is to slot it into your head. It turns out it contains the digitized soul of Johnny Silverhand, a dead rocker boy with violence on his mind. You mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now? He's out for revenge. Aims to bring down the megacorp that made the chip. Do whatever it takes to stop him, defeat him, gut him. What is in your head can shift the balance of power in Night City. The high and mighty will do anything to lay their hands on it. Told you I'd end you someday. The choices you make will shape your story and determine how events unfold. V, you gotta take them down. That's why we're here. But not everything in Night City is a matter of life and death. Sometimes it's about style, choosing your look, your ride, your pastime, who's at your side. Choosing how you spend your dirty money. Welcome to the next generation of open world adventure. Immerse yourself in Cyberpunk 2077. Welcome to the brief authoritative history of Night City. This chapter is devoted to so-called styles, deeply linked with the history of the world and a very important aspect of life in the city. You can find them everywhere. In cars, clothes, guns, implants. They are your war paint. As one of our sponsors says, it matters not if you're dead, as long as you're doing it in style. The moves on this girl! Swoosh, swoosh! Slicing them up like sashimi! Four visual styles are evident in the Night City of 2077, each with its own history, status, and features. Neon hair, illuminated tattoos, and chrome. Function comes second. Looks are what matter. And we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams! The fourth corporate war broke out, and entropism was born. Vast and deep crises forced people to find ways to survive by any means. Getting the job done, no matter how, was the primary goal. The look? Who cares? I love this town! Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her! Fuck them! Fuck this job! Fuck this city! Deadly elegance without ostentation. Corporate, militaristic fashion, mostly seen in the wealthier parts of town. Substance over style, that's the motto. Celebrities, brain dance stars, business magnates, heirs to corporate fortunes and corporate executives. They abandoned the cold, deadly elegance of neo-militarism and returned to the roots of kitsch, but gave it a fresh, new look. Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brushed something and sparks fly. Thank you for your attention. We wish you a very pleasant stay in our marvelous metropolis. Good luck and goodbye. NC's Legends! Know where you'll find most of them? The Graveyard! 
Luckily, matter's not where you're from. Matter's not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In a huge open world like Night City, you need a chill ride to get around fast. And in Cyberpunk 2077, there are tons of cool vehicles to choose from. Get this! Four liter engine, six cylinder, goes from zero to 103.2 seconds. You fucking believe that? We've crafted every car and motorbike with amazing attention to detail. On the chassis, the body, not to mention the interiors. You can expect everyone not only to look unique, but to deliver a unique driving experience. All right, show me what you got. Don't expect advanced tech or luxurious materials here. Nuh-uh. Yeah, it's not the size that counts, I guess. This class is mostly utility vehicles and low-end clunkers made for every pocket. Hold on, hold on. It's a wreck. Uh -huh. My damn wreck. Well, definitely no guy or girl mech. If you need to impress, look to this class alone. What you looking at? Tell me what you looking at. I put my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. With these wheels, no expense has been spared, no frill ignored. Their plush interiors decked out in all the latest tech, while you get to sit back and enjoy the ride. Masterful engineering and practical design. Trucks and tanks for when you need power and brute force. Hell of a machine. Neat beast. My pride and joy. And these monsters are literally unstoppable. These are for chooms who love the smell of exhaust and the roar of street wildlife. Their powerful engines and exchangeable parts make them perfect for tuning. Come on! I want to smell that choo-choo bird! Whether it's street racing, running from the NCPD, or just showing off in the streets, with these high-powered beasts, you will have only respect. Oh yeah, I like that! If you need speed and armor, the hypercar class is for you. It means precise bodywork, built-in LiDAR arrays, and really expensive materials. Imagine you're sitting on a pile of eddies. Probably less than a thousand people in the world can afford the Arendite. Not your typical urban vehicle. They will take you places you never dreamed you'd go. Oh, and original vehicles are not all you'll find in 2077. We also found room on our roster for some true automotive icons. Floor it, V. So what do you want? Supercar? Big house? You want to rule this city? Well, you ain't getting anywhere without an upgrade. You need a softer touch. Stronger spine. Just taking over Night City. Ain't gonna be easy. I'm in. You know how things work in Night City? The stronger survive, but that's how things stand. You're either somebody where you fizzle out into nothing. Then Z ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? Scavs hold the body count title. Or Maelstrom, depending on the season. 
One time, a maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. Chrome sucking psychos. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? I'm gonna introduce you to our meat grinder. About time we had some fun! Big Maelstrom never forgets! Never! <laughs> I hate these Borg fuckers. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. I gotta give style points to the Valentinos. They have a punishment for every occasion. Gangster life, puto! Quick shout out to everyone in Haywood and Santo Domingo. Lately, the Valentinos and 6th Street have had a bigger bone to pick. 6th Street, why'd they want to wipe you? I don't know, can't fucking stand Tinos? Fucking stop! I've dealt with 6th Street before. We do the run, they'll transfer the cred. Come on, let's go before 6th Street shows up. Shot, shot, shot! Any more Second Amendment fans in the house, huh? Uh, hate those bastards. Vomit lofty patriotic bullshit all day. Time to bring on the future. Any idea how many attacks from behind the black wall we neutralized? If the voodoo boys breach the black wall, we'll all be fucked. Voodoo boys? Urban myth, I thought. Just net runners spooking each other. No such gang. You know, I heard a few things about you. The voodoo boys, best runners in town. You do not steal from the voodoo boys. I see you always. For them, Pacifica's just Haiti 2.0. Their own island, cut off from the rest of the city. This is our turf. Our home. Until last week, the animals crawled in. Animals are the craziest fucking gang in the city. Breaker stop! Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle. Someone else needed them. I fucked you over. You fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? My husband's new Westbrook, very high in the tiger claws. They did what made the best eddies, sold sex and black market tin. See a lot of tigers, they run this place. Know what else they do well? Break the knees of people who ask questions. I gotta do something! Shut the fuck up! The tigers will kill us. Come on, baby. Tiger claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Folk went ballistic. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. Think you're some kind of gang now, huh? Us mocks just have each other's back. We look out for one another. You looking for some company tonight? How'd you hook up with the mocks? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. Mocks and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity. Tell me about the Badlands. Not much going on out here, huh? Au contraire. This is an ecosystem. Nomads wrapped in shiv, corporations, and drifters, they form a complete whole. Remove one part, the delicate balance topples. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Classic dilemma. What comes first, family or the outside world? This family will go to hell and back. Everyone in this city lives in their own bubble. And either you fly high, or sink into quicksand. Oh my god, Juanita here! Today's news is Nova Max! Hi there, new to Night City? It's not so bad here. How we feeling today? Cause I feel amazing! The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Our home. Our pride. And as always, your business is my business. And this is your World News Update. Endless possibilities and endless lies. We are fucked, America. 
and I don't know how we're going to fix it. The homeless population in Night City has risen by 300%. Crime in Night City is now double the rate than in the new United States. You want to be some kind of hero? That's a fight this city won't let you win. On your own, you're fucked. Well, on that note, that's it for today's Info Flash. Sleep tight, Night City. The grass ain't greener anywhere else. Night City. What does it mean to you? How well do you know its history? Who was Richard Knight? How many stations are in the NCART system? Which city district boasts the best burrito in town? The answers to these questions and more can be found at the address at the bottom of your screen. Check it out and fall in love with Night City all over again. She pulls my trigger, got me up all right It's a danger pretty here in Night City street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Born here, live here, die here. Childhood memories. Hopping buildings, running away from badges. Iron taste of blood from a split lip. Ugh, motherfucker. Got everybody fighting for a slice of the street. Get the fuck out of Vista. If you keep getting jumped, you find some stronger tumors. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? We have arrived. The Major. Ready to get your cherry bobbed? Yeah, come on! My childhood? Let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills. <laughs> oh, and uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. We nomads choose who to make our family. A choice forges strong bonds and a higher duty that stands solid as an old oak. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts this, you know? Camarado. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. You know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste, no, hunger for freedom. Not easy to come by in that city. Corpse got their grubby claws and everything. I have those reports you asked for. They were supposed to be ready yesterday. The world's going to tear us apart when the word gets around. The 
world's never going to find out. If I go down, you're going down with me! No! I'm not fucking joking! This isn't a request, V. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. If you work in our Arasaka counter intel, you're always fucked. Today, they got you to zero somebody. Tomorrow, they'll get somebody else to zero you. It's the rules, Jack. You wanna be top? You gotta have some skin in the game. Yeah, but you're not on top. It's a borough Arasaka is. And you're the pendejo who keeps him there. Work for yourself, live for yourself. That's the only way. job for you. A client of mine is making an arms deal. He needs protection. It could get hot, very hot. The gun dealers on Maelstrom. Alas, nothing ever transpires as planned with them. You better gear up for this. Are you willing? Yeah, I'm in.
love this town. A city of endless opportunity. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! City like any other. Just bigger. No, mano. Not just any other city. Legends are born here. The Major Leagues. We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. But we are. They just don't know it yet. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bull. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. So what's the gig, Dex? You meant to come out in one piece? <laughs> How about we go over the plan? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. We're robbing some heavy hitters. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Cut team, baby. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. Sounds simple enough. He's led, assholes! Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, me, boy. We're bulletproof. Get your ass moving now! What the fuck just happened in there? Can't stop digging Night City. Fucking major leagues. Happy now, Jackie? Yep, that's fucking high! Time to bail! Oh my god, we're so fucked. And... In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues? Sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. But it's there, just around the corner. And it keeps you going. City of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Guess I was wrong. Can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad why he's hugging the border. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? <clears> hmm. <throat> huh. I'm gonna bypass the coupling and rig a hot water. Compressor will run on and on. Could seize up. 
Did anyone ask your opinion? Okay, let's see what happens. It's like I was telling you. No. Not shabby at all. The question's how long it'll last you. That'll get me to Night City. I figure something else out there. Right. Mm -hmm. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't say. Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a few hours past. I I, I thought uh, he'd at least called in. Don't you swear to mine. We're gonna hash it out. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. No need to worry. I won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? So this Do not do this! Implantations against my beliefs. Please! I do not want them! Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. Your moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a man of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. Tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this'll be a cool breeze. Get the fuck out. <laughs> okay. Easy. Nothing personal, Gopa. 
Just biz. Rayfield's mine. What, man? Never heard of Thieves' Honor. Finders Keepers. I was first. Listen, only one of two ways to do this. Friendly or fucked up. Either way, the ending's the same. I'm taking the car. What? What are you doing? Can you got us? NCPD! Drop your weapons! You're under arrest! Hands where I can see him. Nice and slow. Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. See you haven't grown an ounce wiser. Hey, <clears throat> Detective Stintz. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stintz. <clears throat> Same shit. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. Yeah? You ain't to me. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. You know, fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. Hey, come on, Stintz. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up, they'll just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck Ordinary here. street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking them now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't float. You heard him. <sighs> Fuck. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody! On the ground! I want to see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Well, yeah, hey... I, I, I... Now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was... too much. I felt... I could feel the guy's... pain, his dress, his... hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. All scenes yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream is hell, right? 
Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Can I, can I... All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing on the creep. You go Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of six, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and uh, surf and Everybody! On the so, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Yeah, what I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Meth! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hella nice. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Well, get it, no! Fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the law. You gonna tell me what happened back there? <laughs> Let's say I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Happened a lot to you? Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car.
I know where I'm gonna strike before I do it. Typical. Knew I'd say that. You're for a fight. Which one of you's my guy? Me. Wasn't expecting a tag team, but whatever, I guess. So, who do I got first? No, no. You don't get it. That body and this one. I'm the same person. So, what? I'm seeing double? I used to be twins. Which you could probably guess. The twins had a close bond. They wanted to be closer. Stronger. So they installed neural oscillation sinks. And now they're... Well... Me. One, One person, person two, bodies. two bodies. My bodies do everything together. Everything. Fine. But we're raising the stakes. Fair. See no problem with that. So? so? Can, Can we, we get, get started? started? Show me what you got. new with Senora Wells. Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life. Here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. Oh, but well, we are. They just don't know it yet. Ready to get your cherry popped? <laughs> yeah, come on! Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Who would have thunk? I know, right? Way before our time, that. When proper burials were still a thing. And who might you clowns be? Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? It will soon. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? Alright then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. This 
is it. Heart of Night City. That's it right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All sat on those stools. Fell asleep on that same bar. Looks like we're up. There? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age-old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid up would be best. <sighs> what a beautiful tradition. Tonight city. And the afterlife. Ha Designated landing site has been detected at the destination. Find a spot close to the bar, as close as you can. Fuck procedures. Initiating landing sequence based on new parameters. your problem, Psycho Suit! This look like a landing pad to you. Could've fucking crushed us. Jesus Christ. Okay, no, no, hey, we, we ain't looking for no beef with you. Oh, Seems Christ trouble once happening. in. Keep an eye on the AV for me, will you? I don't get paid to do that. I wasn't asking. I'm not a scratch on it when I get back. Welcome to Lizzie's. Now sit down and tell me what's got your shorts in a knot. It's good to see you too, Jack. How you been? Blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? All right, start her up, uh. 
why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up, we gonna be with you in a minute. What? Oh, come on, man. Your neck. It's a mess. While hotel security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. Woo That's what I'm talking about! All right! In and out, bitches! We're rich! Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jackie! Right. <laughs> Jack? Oh. oh, shit! No, 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 no. Okay, oh. get to a clinic now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go! Immediate medical help okay. is required. Just, just hold on. Just... Hey, hey, just think about all the good shit we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. Chip decks. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this cocksucking attention, damn it. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. We have a city to burn. Let's do this. You won't give out what they should. What now? Prepare. Johnny? Prepare. On a plongé. Where are we? Our BBS. Data Fortress. Bridge to the deep net. Beyond there are no borders. Beyond the black wall. Welcome to the Cyberpunk 2077 2019 Deep Dive video. In last year's gameplay reveal, we showed you our vision for the world of Cyberpunk 2077, its quests, where you are. and visual design. This year, we'd like to give you a peek at some of the play styles you'll be able to adopt as your character progresses through the story. Here goes nothing. You're about to see sequences embodying two distinct approaches to playing Cyberpunk. 
we'll show you a strong solo build. That is, a character who focuses on employing blunt force and taking instant action. And a Netrunner build. A playstyle taking frequent advantage of stealth tactics, hacking, and battlefield control achieved using malicious software. Additionally, you'll learn more about Pacifica, one of the game's districts. Two gangs, the Animals and the Voodoo Boys. And you'll see glimpses of Johnny Silverhand, the digital construct who haunts our main character, V. A word of caution. Given that the video covers a section of the game deep into the main storyline, we have edited the footage to contain as few spoilers as possible. Be aware that the gameplay as presented does reveal characters and locations you'll see while playing the game's main story arc. So watch at your own discretion. Where are we headed? As Polaris' campaign promised, This way. In this video, you'll experience a segment of a quest from the middle of the game. We're currently in Pacifica, one of Night City's six unique districts. No Pacifica well. Nah. You guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. It was designed to be a tourist hotspot within the city. As you can see, this didn't pan out. When uncertainty struck the global economy, investors pulled their funding, leaving most establishments unfinished. It's one of those places where expectations and reality collided, resulting in a heap of disappointment. Ongoing gang wars plague this part of the city. Outsiders don't come here if they don't have to. Even by Night City standards, it's dangerous to those unfamiliar with it. Taking a casual stroll here would not be a good idea. A fast motorbike or armor-plated car would be the safer option. But places like this have their advantages. If you're in need of rare goods or illegal cyberware, Pacifica's bustling local markets are a good place to start your search. The Grand Imperial Mall is a whole other story. It was one of the last developments in Pacifica to lose its funding. Until recently, it stood vacant, but now a gang called the Animals has moved in for reasons unknown. Something's not going right for the big guy up top. And that's what we need to learn in order to earn the trust of the Voodoo Boys, the Animals' rivals. What the hell? Could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in now. Of the many gangs in Cyberpunk 2077, the Voodoo Boys are the most skilled at using the net. I have now seen the news of Agwe, our subnet. Why? What for? You are my vessel now. Through Agwe, I see what you see, hear what you hear. This mysterious gang of highly skilled netrunners has close ties to the local Haitian community. You are V? We have been waiting. Haitians settled in Pacifica in the 2060s after natural disasters struck their island and forced them to emigrate en masse. The Voodoo Boys gang formed around this same time, though at a smaller scale. Now the gang effectively rules Pacifica. The Voodoo Boys don't usually work with outsiders. Lucky for us, it seems they're prepared to make an exception this time. Mr. Han sent me. He said you got murk work needs doing. Still, to earn their trust, we need to prove our worth. Placide, one of the Voodoo Boys' higher-ups, has offered us a mission. We need to infiltrate the Grand Imperial Mall, currently occupied by the Voodoo Boys' deadly enemy, a gang called the Animals. 20, 35, 07. Three seconds before, poof, the camionette. We try to learn where the camionette come from. The Animals are not your normal gang. Their presence in Pacifica is suspicious. They value might above all else and wear melee combat implants to raise their prowess in combat. Their beverage of choice is juice, a potent strength and speed enhancing concoction. As sought after bouncers, they're usually dispersed throughout town. As skilled street level business types, they've cornered the market in illegal substances and underground live or die prize fights. When they converge in one spot, it's for something big. It's then they appoint the fastest and strongest among them as their ad hoc leader. In this case, it's a woman named Sasquatch. Said you wanted my bets. Insane. No. As far as I remember, you said no bone brain buffaloes on steroids. I'm afraid that's the cost of doing biz. 
This is the tech Placide was talking about. It seems non-standard for the animals. And this is where we come in. Getting to the van won't be easy, but we're more than qualified for the job, which we can complete in one of many ways. The character creation in Cyberpunk 2077 is the kind you'd expect from a full-fledged RPG. You start by choosing your past, important because this unlocks special options at important story junctures. You also fully customize your character using a deep customization system that spans not only your look and style, but also your abilities. Cyberpunk 2077 does not feature fixed classes. Instead, it has a fluid class system that allows players to mix and match a wide range of abilities to suit their playstyles. You can create a strong solo character, a skilled netrunner, or any other hybrid class you can imagine. Let's see how a solo playstyle in Cyberpunk 2077 might work. Solos prefer a direct approach. They use guns and might to get things done. So let's wreak some havoc. With our enhanced strength, we can strip this turret of its weapon to give the animals a taste of their own medicine. This is how a player investing in solo abilities might live out their Terminator power fantasy. Enhanced strength lets us force open doors. or grab enemies to use as human shields. We also gain access to powerful melee combat cyberware. So even someone as fast and strong as Sasquatch, the leader of this group of animals, is not impossible to beat for a solo. But Sasquatch has a different game plan. She's out to jack in and hack us. Let's see how this plays out. Ready for some fun? Oh, Proceed. What's going on? It's our choice if we want to finish her off or spare her. You're cyberpunk. Your rules. If you'd rather sneak around, hide, and strike from the shadows, no problem. Just develop your net running skills to get around obstacles or hack into enemy tech to have it do the dirty work for you. Net running abilities mean hacking skills that let us use our cyber deck to breach access points. For this, we fill the buffer of our cyber deck with a string of instructions represented by these letters and numbers. Matching the instructions for basic access grants us control of devices connected to this network. The more instructions we match, the more control we gain over elements in the network. We can hack our way through in numerous ways. A quick hack may grant us control of the security camera. Another one should let us tweak the difficulty of the training bot to create a distraction. With our nanowire, we can even hack this guy's implants from a distance. In this world, almost everything is connected to a local network. And that means it can be hacked. Ours is a wolf. Which brings us back to cyberspace. You don't get to do anything in the net unnoticed. There's always someone watching. It could be Corpos, or even worse, it could be Netwatch. And that is exactly the case here. Who is they? Netwatch. They always are to fuck us. Netwatch and the Voodoo Boys are like fire and ice. The first of these wants to maintain the old order and protect people from AI anarchy originating from beyond the Black Wall. 
the Voodoo Boys want to establish contact with the free AIs. They believe this will enable their boundless expansion on the net and grant them the upper hand over Netwatch. Netwatch sees this as the end of the world. Both are right. Whoa, hey. How you deal with the Netwatch agent is entirely up to you. Do we side with the gang? Choosing to be on Netwatch's bad side is never wise. But can we really trust the Voodoo Boys? You set me up! As you can see, we have many possible options. But in each case, we take a risk. I think I'll just stick to my plan. In the world of cyberpunk, few things go as planned. And that was just a glimpse of how complex the branching storyline in Cyberpunk 2077 can get. Every decision you make will have consequences, your choices will shape how the world reacts to you and affect your relationships with those around you. One of those relationships is special. Ever heard of Johnny Silverhand? A rebel rocker boy who will be your companion throughout your adventure in Night City? Come on, really think they give a rat's dick how you look? Like everyone in Cyberpunk 2077, he has his own agenda. You'll decide if he'll be your ally or your enemy. And that chip in your head, the one thanks to which Johnny lives inside your mind. Well, that's a story for another time. Welcome to the gameplay demo walkthrough of CD Projekt Red's upcoming title, Cyberpunk 2077. A narrative-driven, open-world RPG set in a dark version of the future. Before we start, a small but important disclaimer. The gameplay you're about to see is from a work-in-progress version of the game. Everything you see is potentially subject to change. In Cyberpunk 2077, you can fully customize your character using a deep customization system. For this demo, we're going to play a female. Keep in mind that what you see here is not final. We just want to give you a glimpse of what will be possible in the released game. This is an RPG, so before we get into our appearance, we need to define our backstory. What you choose here will unlock different possibilities later in the game. Also, you can use an array of different options to modify how you look. These include body type, hairstyle, tattoos, makeup, skin tone, and many, many more. But visuals aren't everything. You'll also be able to customize your initial attribute setup. You'll notice we didn't pick a class. Cyberpunk 2077 features a fluid class system, and you'll be able to modify your class throughout the game. This demo takes place near the beginning of the game. V and her friend Jackie, along with a netrunner named Tiba, are hired to find and retrieve a missing person, a girl whose locator implant went dark. Always clear. Go. Cyberpunk 2077 is a first-person role-playing game. This perspective enables us to maximize your immersion. Should have full access in 2.8 seconds. Breached it. Your turn. For I lead the way, I know. Alarms neutralized. Room's too simple. Not our girl, I think. Keep looking. It looks like these scavengers are kidnapping people to harvest their implants. Okay, things are about to get heated. We'll take a reflex booster that temporarily allows us to use the Kereznikov ability. <laughs> 
This is Kereznikov. Our target's in there. Cabrones. Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? This does not look good. No in a minute. Jacking into Biomon. Sandra Dorset, NC 570442. Got a winner. Well, she will be if we can get her to a hospital. Sheesh. Trauma Team Platinum, too. Platinum? Shit. TT should have swooped in if she sneezed. Something's jamming the Biomon signal. Talk to me, T Bug. Virus, probably. Locate her neurosocket. Should be a shard slotted in. Shit's probably on that. If we clear it, free up the signal, TT could actually drop in, take her off our hands. Got the shard. Removing it now. Done. I'm gonna check the again. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Like the fucking cavalry. <laughs> well, let's get her out of here. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rest. <laughs> oh, mierda, she's flatlining! V, you need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo! Can't, China! <sighs> She's stable. <sighs> Fuera, China. Get her outside. I'll cover you. It turns out a virus disrupted the girl's locator implant. We fixed that, and now help is inbound. Swarm of the sons of bitches. Two vans full just pulled up outside. Fuera, get her out! Terrorists! Stand clear! Landing! Stop where you are! Place the patient on the stretcher. Five steps back! Now! I said, step back! PT-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine, 110 norepinephrine, 800 vibrant. Hey, give us a lift out of here. No problem. Cutting connection. T-bug out. All clear. That was Trauma Team, blow. a kind of high-end premium medical insurance. Don't have much time from what Bug said. We've delivered the target, and Tiba has notified us that the scavengers have called in reinforcements. Let's get out of here before they arrive. I got the eddies for new wheels now. I had something real fine, too. How about you, Heina? Probably blowing all on booze in three days. Talking about somebody else, Jack. People are than a content of combat. Thank you. 
Cyberpunk is a mature, visceral experience, and as such, it will let you explore a variety of different interactions with the game world, and as you just saw, it's people. Hello, Night City. Your man standing here with us, preaching on all last night's biz. But first, remember the man, the myth, Johnny Silverhand. Been a year since he went on his last ride. All you gunks sitting in the afterlife, nursing that scotch, waiting for something better. You know what I mean. The so job was a success, and, you, boy, and V obviously has some money to burn. What's up, V? Look, I need to talk to you. I got news as big as my balls. And I got a hot date with my Ripper Doc. Come on, I now make the Doc wait. Pull some pants on your culo and get down here. Subway entrance and bring your iron. Okay, Jackie has just told us that he has some big news for us. And we have an appointment with our Ripper Doc today. Before we leave, let's take a good look around our apartment. Good morning, Night City. The song on the radio is by rocker boy Johnny Silver. It's part of our creative process to draw inspiration from the pen and paper system created by Mike Pondsmith and to put our own 2077 spin on it. Let's go grab our gear. Okay, we'll take these trusty pistols and also grab our jacket. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, the jacket not only provides us with protective stats like armor, but it also increases our street cred. Street cred is a form of experience the player acquires by completing side missions. It is used to unlock new vendors and content throughout Night City. All right, let's go meet Jack. V's current apartment is located inside a mega building, a huge building complex that forms a micro society of its own. In this timeline, technology and the world have evolved in some ways that seem familiar, but entirely surprising in others. As an example, in this world, people pay with eddies, slang for Euro dollars. We make sure to root every detail in the world's lore, so everything has its purpose and stays believable. A big part of our RPG experience is having a world that is interactive. Here, a generic ad has morphed into an advertisement specifically tailored to V, informing her of the nearest vendor she can purchase the product. In this case, it shows us where to find some Nicola soda. This is Wilson, one of Night City's many gunsmiths. We won't be checking his wares today, but you can purchase and upgrade your weapons and gear throughout the city. Cyberpunk 2077 is set in Night City, a bustling metropolis located on the coast of the free state of North California. It's a dystopian city where violence and oppression are the norm. We are working hard to make Night City a fully realized, seamless open world with no loading screens. Currently, we're in Watson, a former industrial district where crime now mixes with money. Very strong signal. You kidding me? Damn signal gonked out three times. Three times, yo! It's a piece of shit. Now give me back my eddies. Silverhand's debut out, that. Now he'll ever sit as he has me. Could be some truth to that. We've greatly enhanced our crowd and community system to create the most believable city in any open world game to date. The city's streets are bustling with crowds of people from all facets of life, all living their lives within a full day and night cycle. Oh, 
Okay, there's Jack. Fucking finally. Buckle up. Shit's happening. What's up, Jack? Dexter Deshaun. Huh? Sound familiar? Somebody wants to talk to you. One of Night City's top fixers, eh? Okay, you see that caddy? Need to walk on over there and get us a job, I know. I'll meet him. Talk. I'll be in Senior Rippers. Good news to me. Good luck, V! It turns out we've caught the attention of one of Night City's biggest players, Dexter Deshaun. A fixer. A person who gets things done. He wants to meet up and discuss a job. Get in. Let's see what he has for us. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Let's roll. Scanning the serious job just now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. You interested? Interested, sure. Tell me more. Well, glad to hear. Before we can start in on this, though, I need to be sure. Sure you all right. And the nature of this test. Slaughter the show. See, got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang, just doing his thing, jumped a corp convoy, got away with gear. Now I need me that little combat bot. They call it the flathead. Of course, I got the Eddies to buy it, but me and the Maelstrom boys ain't the best of friends. No flow to our convo, see? Who's the woman? Corporal agent. She's on the hunt for the dogs who sold the Gangoon's info on the convoy. Got herself a prisoner. Her chief suspect, most likely. Going on 20 hours since the convoy was jumped, and she still don't have no guilty body. Gotta be desperate by now. Be wise to think how you could use that. Got any questions for me? Clear on it all, I think. Time I got to work. Beautiful. Here's hoping my inkling checks out. So, see you at the afterlife soon as the job's done. Do good, and this will be the start of a beautiful friendship based on heaps of eddies. It seems Dexter has given us a test of sorts to see if we're worthy. He wants us to retrieve a piece of high-tech combat gear, a local gang stole from the Militech Megacorp. We'll be able to approach this job from a variety of angles. Let's try calling the Militech contact to see where that leads. Hi, um, heard you were looking for some tech. Let's talk. Hey, everybody shut it! Where is it? Come on, spell! On the horn? No. Uh -uh. Amateur hour, Jesus. First exit off Skyline going towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. The situation's tricky because the contract giver is a corporate agent who seems a little high strung. Before we get down to business, it's a great idea to visit our Ripper Dock. Got a real whack tape change your fucking life. Crime is a common occurrence. Night City is not a safe place. Life here is not easy. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. 
V! I can release... How to play out with Dex. It's all here. All right. I'll check it out while I wait for you. V? Dr. Vector, we'll see you now. We're at a Ripper Doc clinic. Ripper Docs are specialist vendors who offer people the possibility to install or upgrade their cyberware. Vicky, spry as ever, you old Ripper. Hey, v. Need to bump up my specs and get a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit just got real. Hit in the major leagues. Got a job from Dex to Sean. The Dexter Deshaun? Yeah, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quick, Ryan, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Last time, I swear. Now sit. That's Karoshi. Best I've got. And should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. This is what's going on inside. We're going to install both an optical scanner... Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. And a subdermal weapon grip. Link's not labeled. And to be perfectly honest, not entirely sure where the hell I got it. Still, looks like it'll talk to Karoshi Tech. <sighs> I'm ready. Carve away. Okay, all clean. Now for the fun stuff. Lay that Major League arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Doc. Play by play. Makes you sound like a dentist. They're always going on and on. Don't be me now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Good, so let's test it. I'm linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort. Maybe blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. How's it look to you? With the scanner, we can zoom in on things and take a closer look. This is fantastic. Beautiful. Time for the scanner. Additionally, we can analyze objects, get details on enemy weak points or gang affiliation. It might take you a while to adjust, but... First time is rarely the charm with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. The subdermal weapon grip links to our scanner and shows us weapon information like ammo count and fire modes. It also increases the base damage on all connected weapons. Shit. Not bad. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again. You're the best, Vic. Go on, kid. Show them what you can do. And once you hit the big time, don't forget where you came from. While some Ripper Docs operate legally, others provide black market services for the right price 
They can even offer to install illegal military-grade cyberware. Left a few minutes ago. Said he'd wait outside. Well, well, Kiroshi. Mm-hmm. Well, Vic's got a soft spot for you, Heina. Come on. How about you use them fancy-ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure, but you'll have to let me take it for a spin. Hey, just watch the paint job. Is this pendejo? Hey, carnal! Hey, you got a problem? This guy looks an awful lot like one of those scavengers we took out earlier. Something tells me that wasn't no coincidence, huh? Jackie's car is a super-powered sports car running on Chew 2 the super fuel of the future. Players can explore Night City freely, in many different cars, on bikes, and in other types of vehicles. This does not look good. Puta madre! Grab the wheel, Jack! Oh, fuck! It looks like the scavengers from earlier are still angry. They're pulling ahead, Heino. Watch it now. Got it. All right. I think we got rid of him. That was intense. Ah, shit! The fuck was that? The hell's... Night City never sleeps. Danger lurks around every corner, even in daytime. Random encounters like these are an example of how your actions directly influence your open world experience. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, Jackie. So, think they're done riding our asses? Scavs? Uh, sure, maybe. Should be looking for a new spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. But, who knows? Real messed up in there, Scavs. Saw it yourself. Many forces are fighting for control of Night City, but the mega corporations are the real showroom. The agent we're going to meet represents Militech, one of the largest companies in the private military sector. Why are we stopping? Remember the corpo off Dex's shard? Ranger, she's in the area and we're gonna meet. Let me guess. She's in hot corpo water. Desperate. Then you think you can use that. See if I can, yeah. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, preparation will be key when dealing with Night City's powerful, especially when these are corpos. Instead of just rushing in, let's assess the situation with our freshly installed Kiroshi optical scanner. There, let's take a closer look. Composite armor, car's a fucking tank. Shit. Yeah, Militech, no doubt about it. You sure you still want to meet him? Yeah, gotta do this. But don't you move a damn muscle. Not unless I start, that is. These guys are levels higher than we are. Let's try to approach them carefully. Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Yep. We wanted... You're smart. But you can blackmail me, bitch. Set conditions? Calm the hell down. What is I've this? I've got you now, asshole. You're insane. Who the fuck is this? I'll know in two seconds flat. That fucking thing ready? All set. 
Are you here alone? The Corpos have hacked us through our personal link and have subjected us to a kind of lie detector program. The dialogue system in Cyberpunk 2077 is fully gameplay driven. I asked if you came alone. Yep, just little old me. She's lying. Search the area. Now listen, Lewis, we don't need to be here all day. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, did he or another asshole at Militech leak info to you or anyone else about a convoy? It might be tempting to reach for the gun, but the no. consequences could Got be dire. To do with him Remember, or these guys are really tough. Shit. Checks out. <laughs> you got nothing on me! Nothing! Won't get away with this, you bitch! You're dead! Somebody shut him up. Take me home! Now! All right. I have no idea who you're working for or what you even want, but you better give me something solid or I will end you. I've got an offer. Oh, you are stretching. This better be fucking good. Gang goons who ripped you off? I know where to find them. They got a bot I want. Give me the funds to buy that bot. You can do what you want with the gang. I don't give a shit about the thieves. I want my mold. Credship, 50k. Just enough to buy you your bot. Thing is, Chip's gotta make it into the thieves' terminal. That's all I need. Think you can do that? Then we got a deal. Fine. I'm in. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cunt's good as dead! And she'll take you down with her! The agent gave us the money to buy the bot we need from the game. By choosing to call the Militech agent early, we have now opened up a non-violent path through this quest. Of course, we could try and keep the money, but that would mean we'd have to take the merchandise by force, which requires a lot of firepower. Look a little fishy, you know? A couple of tents, no signal, so I stay put. Good thing, too. Went down about like I expected. Made a deal, and we're good to meet with Maelstrom now. Mm-hmm. Be there soon. What do you expect? Corpse don't forgive or forget. Even these Borg fucks sense that. Feel the pressure. That's why they're holed up in this shithole, praying to the almighty Trip Six. Gotta move the tech, but they can't. Cause your new best friend from the tripped out, tanked out SUV is just begging them to try. How you wanna do this? Even now, we can choose how to approach this quest. Do we go in guns blazing, or do we try to negotiate All right. for the bomb? Plan's simple. We pay with the Corpo's cred and get out. I don't know, but. You're calling this one. For this demo, let's try oh, the more diplomatic approach. Uh, Tough shit. All we need's for them to buy it. <laughs> Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Main room. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm well prepared. All strapped with Militech gear. Psycho Borg scrummed out with military grade hardware worth millions. Should be. The fun. guys we're about to meet are dangerous. They are members of the Maelstrom gang, and their obsession with body modification goes way beyond even this world's standards. On their path to becoming machines, they don't shy away from even the most extreme measures. Anti personnel mine. Shrapnel's better. Hmm, my favorite. And goons getting creative with their gear. It looks like they made this abandoned All Foods Meat Factory their hideout. Charming. Another one? Seriously? Maybe we should have taken them by surprise. A little late for regress like that. 
Got us in their sights now. Just keep moving. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. Remember, we've chosen to buy the tech, not steal it. Hopefully this will go yeah, fast and easy. This is a pretty well-guarded place. You can imagine what would have happened if we'd taken the violent path. What? Looking to buy a bot. Model MTO D12. Looks like a spider. Couch planted. Yo, Kerr. Peek around the corner, see if we got anything like that. Well, shit. Sit down. I'll stand. Can't move on your culo. Makes you an easy target. Sit down. That really necessary, hombre? I ain't your hombre. Sit. Sit your ass down before I plant a bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right, fucking bravo. Come on, lighten up. Have a whiff. Better. Now we can talk. The bot. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out. State of the art, this thing. Don't even got no standard port. Bells and whistles, though. Dynamic camo armor and motor impulses rivaling that of the human nervous system. Its actuators are actually pimped with titanium fiber, and it can go anywhere. Literally. Watch this. Fully integrated link, too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls, dangling from ceilings, you could lose your lunch. So, what you think? Hey, up and let's get the fuck out of here. The buck. I'll take it. Two questions. What the fuck's going on? And who the fuck is this? Got 50 large on this crutching. And you positively reek of Militech. Dexter Deshaun sent me. Dexter Deshaun. Dreads. Gold plate. Fat old fuck. That him? <laughs> we'll pay for the bot and be on our way. How much you say you had? 50k. Creds on this. Move it. Woo! Not the smoothest of deals, but it worked out in the end, right? Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick. Whatever that trick is. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! <laughs> It turns out the cred ship we got from the Militech agent contained a virus which off. fried their system. The Royce, their leader, is making a break for it. <laughs> Had to end this way. Before we figure out a way to leave, let's grab the splinter that controls the bot from one of these dead maelstromers. The inspection system allows us to take a closer look at the splinter. You can inspect specific items to reveal details that can help in solving quests. Okay, let's equip the splint to our chipware slot. With this done, the bot will now follow us wherever we go. All right, what else do we have here? Nice! A street-modified tech shotgun. 
high-tech weapons fire rounds that penetrate walls and other types of cover. They also have an alternate fire mode that allows you to power up shots and deal more damage. It looks like there are several ways out of this room, like those gates, for example. However, you'd have to be a skilled netrunner to hack into this terminal. Luckily, our engineering skills should allow us to disassemble that maintenance panel so we can get through the door. Got it. There are many skills right in the behind. game that players can apply in solving problems. The engineering skill can be used to fix, disassemble, and disarm here. devices blocking the Production your line path. passes through here. And we're gonna pass through with it. So, at this point on, we're going to unlock the abilities of a high-end character to showcase some of the different mechanics we have in the game. One of the new weapon modules we now have installed is a ricochet targeting system connected to our eyes. This allows players to bounce bullets off walls and hit enemies hiding behind cover. This is another targeting system that will reveal enemies behind walls. Paired with the penetrating rounds of our tech shotgun, it's a deadly combination. Looks like we found some loot. This is a smart gun. It's one of the more advanced weapons in the game allowing bullets to track and follow their target. It's one of many different weapons players can acquire. Weapons are built of modules that allow for deep customization and progression. This way, you can be sure to find something that will suit your place. The toughest bastards guarding this route. Probably some reason for that. Just a reminder, everything you've seen and are about to see, including this particular feature we're about to show you, is from a work-in-progress version of the game and may change over the course of development. Okay, all that shit's covered? Okay, let's try something different. We're going to take this guy down and connect directly to his neural sign. In the world of Cyberpunk, once you are jacked into a network, you have access to everything it connects to. Through this Maelstrom gang member, we've now connected to the gang hideout's internal network. This is the building's personnel system. Let's focus on the squad containing the Maelstrom ganger we just connected to. From here, we can deploy software that affects the whole squad. For now, we'll simply unlock the ability to perform quick hacks. All right, time to show off our new high-level ability. With Quick Hack, using the back door we unlocked a minute ago, we'll install a virus that jams the connection between the Maelstrom Ganger and his weapon. This will prevent him from firing. Ah! It's the hell is Looks like he's having a problem now. 
Nice. Some of you might recognize these mantis blades. We can also double jump and bounce off of walls, which makes us a very agile, fast solo. Sweet, we just found a corporate tech rifle. Corpo weapons are top of the line. Let's scan this guy and see what's going on. It looks like Royce is back, and he's prepped. He's got an armored exoskeleton. We won't be able to get rid of him that easily. Our weapons are not dealing a lot of damage because he's packing an autonomous shield. Luckily, the scan we performed earlier Let's revealed go. a weak spot. Ah! Attacking should bring the shield down. Shields down. Let's finish him off. Boy, it ain't going your way, you cunts. Okay, let's put him down and get this job over. That wasn't the smoothest raid, but we've got the bot, and Dex should be happy. But think back. What would have happened if we hadn't met with the Militech agent? or told Royce about the agent and her plans, or just decided to buy the bot ourselves. So many options, so many possibilities, and each will have consequences that will ripple through the game world and your story. And that's just one quest. Let's head out and finish the job. About goddamn time. Let's get out of here. work together more often. Your chip had the clap. That's not discreet. You set me up. I fucked you over. You fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? Only the corp gets what it wants. Remember that. Learn it. Years down the line, you'll be standing where I am, watching somebody else doing... Yep. Being a raging bitch to whoever's doing my dirty work for me. It's time we were on our way, Ida. Okay, let's Next call door. Dex and tell him how things went down. My girl is shit eating suits. Mama knows. Hey, Mr. Dex. Get us that table at the afterlife? Hmm, matter of fact, I did. Just in my gut and all, you know. Well, you were right to. <laughs> Well done, Missy. Well done. <laughs> See you there. Shit, I can't believe it, Ina. Major Leagues. We're in. <laughs> I mean, we fucking pried the door open. But the only thing I'm gonna pry open right now is a bottle of scotch. Oh, no. Not another three-nighter. Por favor. Need to get to know this city, Jack. Not just gun in hand. I'm on a crusade. Amen, I know. We finished the job, but our story is just beginning. This concludes our gameplay demo walk. 